Well, welcome back to this week's version of TU TV. We're really excited to be here in the Shoreman Art Studio. We've got a lot of neat stuff going on over here. We've got Dr. Bledsoe, we have some students to talk to. I want to talk first about how cool is it to have this space? I mean, that, when I walk in here, every time I come in here, I'm, I'm always enamored at A, just the different art that's on the wall. And I'm always guessing, is this one of your artists and that's, that's visiting through, or is, or is this some of the work of our students? Right, it's right? a combination of the two. Yeah, the, the facility we have here is as nice a facility as I've ever seen in any art college. Small art, but it's just the way it's designed, it's hard to believe that it was not built as an art department. Yeah, it really is. And, uh, and the natural light and the way that the walls work and, and the fact that someone can walk in and they can look at artwork on the backside and then come back in here and pull in the middle, it just has a natural flow to it. So it was like it was meant to be that way. Well, this, the, the Shulman, you guys don't know this, Dr. Bledsoe knows this. This is Kendall and I, this is probably our favorite building on campus. First meeting we had with the trustees was in this very room. And so the first interaction that we had with Tuscaloosa University was here. All right. And I thought that spoke volumes about how much the institution and the trustees valued this building to bring in prospective presidents right there during, sure. during that process. So let's talk, tell us who you are, where you're from, so the audience knows and so your mom and dad would be so proud out there. <laughs> my name is Rodney Brooks and I'm from Greenville, South Carolina and my major is graphic design. I'm currently working on the logo. Um, I started last year in graphic design too. And um, it's called Sweet Diamond. And Miss Monday, uh, she's been helping me with it. And just ever since I've been in here, um, whether it was with uh, PB, what we call it, was well, she was my instructor before he came. Okay, yeah, perfect. So yeah. she taught me, you know, doing introduction to art and different artists. And, you know, she she really helped me. She kind of she started me out, and then he kind of finishing it off. So good, good, yeah, it was perfect combo. Uh, I'm Claudia Montezioka, and I'm from Newport, Tennessee. Um, I'm a studio art major, and this is my first year here at Tuscaloosa. Yeah. And yes, and so. You love it? Oh yes, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Put I that in there, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't wait to continue in this program. Like uh, Artie said, it's like a second home almost. So we're here today, and tonight is the f official kickoff for uh, the exhibit. So let's start with you first, sure. Will you tell us a little bit about the artist right. and your relationship with him and then his relationship to Tuscan? Well, Steve Hasselroth is a, is a self-taught artist and his focus is doing portraiture. And so uh, he does other things, but that's his focus. And at the base of what he does is drawing, which is one thing that is the, is the primary discipline that we work with all the students to make sure that they are a competent slash accomplished drawers and draftsmen and then painters, regardless of whether they're going to graphic right. right. design or they're going to stay in studio. So that was one of the reasons why I wanted to have his exhibit here, so they could look at it. And there's an illustrative quality to it, too. And so a lot of uh, students who go into the workforce uh, in the art field, illustration is part of what right. they'll be expected right. to do, as well as studio art. Right. So this gentleman actually had seen an exhibit that we had done that our department collectively had done for the Bristol United Way. Okay. And we had raised, helped raise a million and a half dollars for that organization oh, wow. through this artwork that we did. He came to that exhibit in Bristol and saw the work and inquired about what we were doing and one thing led to another. And he, so that's, that's basically how he got to know us and why he's here. And his Perfect. name is Steve Hasselroth. And so what do you guys hope to learn over the next couple of weeks? You've been involved from a student perspective of putting, getting ready for the, the, the nightly display. What, what do you hope to learn? Um, just, just by looking at his art, it kind of shows me like how he does things. And I wish I could watch him draw, but right. just looking at different, like different details in his art, it right. could just like motivate me to do something better in mind, just to tweak it just a little bit. Right. And um, the way Mr. Blesso explained it was the inside paintings are the ones that are done around the same time, but the outside ones are like different time frames. Right. So I find that very cool. And yeah, but you're an artist, yes. right? So more probably than, than us. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. so tell us about what you've seen from Steve's work. I personally, I love doing portraits, and I've done a few uh, as commission work for uh, family members and friends. And yeah. So I think it's really, I just really love it because it's just my favorite part of art. Good. Good. Interaction. Do you see that in yourself, like when you're going through highs and lows in life, and you start? Does that influence your your artistry and some of the things that you want to, you know, capture and share with the world? Mm -hmm. Like the impression that I put into my artwork, of course, it goes into like my life, like on the outside. 
outside wall. Yeah. So he's going to draw his. It's kind of a, a time capsule, right? Yeah. So when you leave Tusculum, you graduate Tusculum, what do you want to do with, with your degree? Tell me how you're going to impact the world. Tell everyone how you're, you will impact the world. I love doing commission works uh, for a family that they've already started doing. Yeah. So I would love to continue doing that and maybe do a YouTube channel. Nice. And teaching people like me, <laughs> which are below sure. novice painters and, and artists, how to, how to become proficient artists and painters. <laughs> yeah, well, he's really good. He's, he's not fair. He's, he's not fair. Yeah. What about you? What do you want to do with your graphic design? I plan on moving to Charlotte. Um, yeah, it's a Charlotte for some reason. It's a cool little city. Yeah, it's a great city. Yeah, <laughs> and, um, a little smaller than Tuscaloosa, but yeah, yeah, a little smaller. Yeah. And, um, I want to take my, my uh, logo, Sweet Diamond, and just. I want to open up a business. So if you remember the OxyClean commercial? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, I want to do ideas similar to that. Like if I think of something that could help people in, you know, in daily life. And yeah. I don't know, I just want to spread ideas and just get it out there whether it's on commercials or yeah. you know, brochures, whatever it's on. I just want to open up a business and just, you know, have different designs and different right. logos. So Well, one I'm of my favorite about. ladies in all the world outside of my mom, and my grandma and my wife. Her name is Jackie Lynch. Jackie lives in Charlotte. She's a, she's a mom of one of our recent graduates here at Tusculum. She will be a tremendous asset to help you get plugged into the community. And when, you, when you're prepared for that, let me know and I'll get you in touch with Jackie. But she's a, she's a beautiful lady and she will just, she lives life to the fullest and she believes in helping young people. And so let me know and, and we'll get you plugged in with her. Yes, sir. Thank so thank you for joining this week's uh, version of TUTV. We encourage everyone to come out to the Shulman Art uh, Studio. Help support our students and, and the work that they're doing. Steve's work, as, as I've seen, it's, it's magnificent. I mean, we've got Martin Luther King renderings, uh, Churchill, uh, I think it's right behind us. So some beautiful work in here. Uh, and I think it's really, really important. We often celebrate athletic accomplishments. It's also important that we celebrate our humanities and fine arts accomplishments, and this is quite the accomplishment. So we encourage you to come out and support TU and, uh, and these students that work hard every day. And Dr. Bledsoe, thank, thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate right. it. Thank you, and as always, go Pioneers.